Hi there, this is Doug Cuban of GIS Coordinator Limited. In this video I'll be showing uh, Orbis, our raster tile server product, along with some Geo RSS feeds, all inside the desktop uh, GIS QGIS, which is an open source desktop product. So what we have loaded here is the the world, uh, which is the Orbis uh, map tile server, and you can see as I zoom in, we get more detail uh, of that area as it goes through the tiles. There's another video that covers Orbis and just uh, the tiles and, and how to get. Uh, Orbis into QGIS and indeed other desktop GISs. Um, so this this video is really about uh, uh, a usage of Orbis, which um, in this case is to uh, really bring out uh, mapping uh, spatial detail uh, when viewing uh, earthquake data. The earthquake data, which are these red stars and these these boxes over here in the UK, comes from the British Geological Survey. And it's their GeoRSS streams, their XML that we're plugged into here in QGIS. And on the left hand side, you can see I've got uh, the two layers there, um, which are active. If I just zoom in a bit more, let's go to the UK. We can click and view some data from the feed, the GRSS feed. So you can see it's a magnitude 2.1 for example. And there's the latitude and longitude, the depth. Uh, 2.1, that's just borderline micro earthquake I think. So it's probably recorded by some local uh, seismographic uh, instruments. T typically when they're, when they're sort of that low and, and probably not really felt locally. Um, let's just zoom in a bit more. And you can see with Orbis uh, you really get a feel for how the land lies with the topography uh, with res respect to these uh, earthquake records. So how did this these uh, Jira RSS feeds get into QGIS and uh, be displayed on top of the Orbis raster tiles. Well, in QGIS they're treated as vector layers, which they are GRSS, um, uh, because they contain a sort of uh, point uh, point information, uh, latitude and longitude. So there are normal, what we call normal RSS feeds, which as you can see there say no geometry. So um, RSS itself, which stands for really simple syndication, is, is just a, an open format, a computer readable format that uh, any, any computer can read and you can do what you like with. And it's XML really at the end of the day. So in the case of a normal RSS feed, such as the BBC News, which I've plugged in here, uh, if I look at that and open the attribution, there, there is no mapping for this. It is just a table of data. It is not GRSS. So you can see all the titles for uh, the news items there, and there's some uh, description that they have in there. So you can see it could still pull in normal RSS feeds. You can still pull in that data into QGIS and uh, work with it. You could perhaps do joins um, to other tables in order to get it mapped. Perhaps if there's a city name or something, you could join to um, some underlying vector city data and geocode that data. But it, it will bring it in RSS, even though by default it's not mapping. So what's happened with the mapping? Well, if we take a little look at this sort of underlying data, you can see here that in this XML from the BBC, it is really just, just a load of data. There's some links and, uh, and, and, and little images, etc. Uh, there are all, all these items, but there's no sort of geography. There's no latitude, longitude as such. So this is the same sort of RSS 
type feed, you can see the definition RSS up there for the template, but the, for the schema. But the in, in the RSS in this case, you can see there's geography. So you can see there's a geography. It doesn't have to be a point. It could be other objects, a line, a polygon, or what have you. But in this case, it's it's a point. It's a lat long point uh, with this sort of geo element. So that's that that's the difference. So how do we, how do we get it in to um, uh, QGIS? Well, you go to the vector. Sorry, you go to layer and add layer vector layer. So if I just turn off, let's say the world earthquakes just for the moment. So layer, add layer, add vector. Source type is actually file, but the it's, but the file it comes from this remote source. It's got a with this URL. So then we click add, and you see it's appeared down in the bottom left there. Let's close that for a second, and you see how the dots have now appeared on the map. This is the world stuff. Zoom in. So this is the world's seismology GRSS, which was this one I had loaded earlier. So I've effectively loaded it twice. And you can, of course, just click on the points and see what the information is. This is one in the Netherlands, relatively sizable. The UK ones, by the way, are the last uh, 30 last 30 days classified as a recent earthquake so in QGIS a double double click we can change the marker to uh, what we want there's lots of uh, there's lots of symbols etc the usual story with uh, these sort of types of product and um, there's lots to choose from so um, and change the size and um, what have you really let's apply that and look and there you go Okay, and there's our symbology for for the world earthquakes. Let's zoom out. Uh, it is refreshed. So if you look at that data, let's open the attribute table and look at it. Um, it'll be refreshed. So you open the project the, the next time, it'll be refreshed. You open the attribute data, it'll be refreshed. Uh, and um, if you uh, um, hit the refresh button, it'll be refreshed. So that's how it keeps it in a sort of up-to-date um, up uh, view. The, let's turn off, let's remove that. So when you, when, when you pull in the normal, a normal RSS feed, such as, uh, let's, let's pick up a, another BBC one, let's go to add layer. So we call it vector, but in fact, we know that this is this is just from the video and audio uh, section of the business um, channel at um, at the BBC. So now, when I open that, open attribute. So I open the attribute table, uh, and here we go. Here's the data. But there's no there's no dot up here. And there's no there's no maps um, because there's no uh, geography. But like I said, if you had uh, you, you know it, it, you, you could pick up some uh, spatial reference there. And uh, perhaps do a join or something to to get it on the map, but um, but there we go. Let's turn our, our earthquakes back up, uh, the whole of the world. Let's just end this uh, with zooming into a bit of uh, topography from Orbis. Thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions or would like to know more about the Orbis uh, data product, then please do get in contact with us. Thank you.